This is just a quick go over how to start up the Billy Goat aerator. It's not a substitution for the manual <clears throat> and certainly the safety instructions in it. What I really just want to touch base on is how to start the Honda generator or Honda engine on this particular model. It's pretty straightforward. If you come in here, you'll see there's two important things. This is the choke mechanism. The arrow pointing that way means if you want to engage the choke, you'll turn it this way. It's quite warm inside right now where this is being heated, so I'm not worried about doing that. The second one is your gas. This is what people would commonly call petcock. You want to make sure that goes on all the way like this. So right now we have the choke not engaged. We have the gas on. Here is your speed for this particular machine. You can see this is, of course, the tortoise and the hare that's always on all of the uh, Honda machines. You want to leave it on the tortoise when you go ahead and start it up. And you'll idle it for about a minute so you get a nice smooth idle. The oil warms up and this engine's running good. And then you won't have kind of surging that sometimes happens when people start an engine too fast. Uh, this particular model has an on-off switch here, but it's been bypassed. And the reason that is is that they put it up here so that when you're using the machine, you can turn it on and off if you need to. I think it's a nice feature because it's a little more safe. So that's off. When you put it on one, that's on. So now we have this on. We have the machine on. We have the idle low. I should just pull this and it should start. Let me just quickly demonstrate. On this machine, this handlebar is what engages the tines as well as the tires in the front. So you'll notice when I pull this in, both the tines and the tires move. You drop the tines by dropping this device. That sinks the tines into the ground and you're rolling forward. Also, don't forget that you're going to fill it with water depending on how wet your soil is. You want to water down your soil the night before and make sure it's well soaked. What you don't want is a mud puddle or water floating on the surface, certainly. It just needs to be, hmm, what do they say, uh, well moistened. Everything else is in the manual in terms of safety on this. That's your responsibility to read, but that's basically how to start this Honda engine and any other. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.